So, you're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Well, I'm Seth, just Seth. From God to Cain to Seth. I am his right hand, and I have a task for you. This is Nakumba, and he is causing the Brotherhood much grief. His views do not coincide with ours, and that makes him dangerous. Silence him. Enforcements have arrived. Hello everyone, welcome back to Open Ra. Tiberian Dawn, welcome to the first not mission. Once more we have to kill Nkumba and there's a bunch of DI guys on the way, but that shouldn't be too difficult a thing to take care of. There we go, even though they do have some vehicles later on and we probably want to avoid exposing ourselves to those too much. Oh, oh yep. Because the the Hamas in this game here are actually kind of dangerous. Also, I didn't. Okay, we get two reinforcements here. Okay, that's better than nothing. So I'll I'll, t I'll take what I can get. There we go. So you spy ahead a little bit. Yeah, the Hamas are somewhat dangerous. Didn't see you there, but should have known that there's someone behind the tree because that's that's how the AI rolls. There we go. More guys, not a thing I'm going to say no to. I'm going to have these run down here because I think there's more guys left there. Yeah, we've got multiple enemy vehicles here. And we don't want these to just roll over our infantry. And to be honest, these buggies here seem to be somewhat fragile in open run. More fragile and more cold than being. In the original game, they feel pretty much just like cheaper, but not weaker Hamas. But they could just be me in any case. Get into position here and attack. Let's have these guys here join the fight. Oh damn, we lost both of these already. That's not great. Ooh, yeah. Are those burn through our guys quickly. Of course we can. Maybe maybe should have tried to just push through and and reach Nkumba on the hill because he's he's just like a civilian unit, very weak, no defenses. He just dies after a hit or two. Yep, yeah, kill a lot of civilians here. You know what, may as well check the church while we're at it. There he is, the Kumba. And yeah, it looks like there's nobody else left to guard this village here, so we should be fine. I'm just going to blow up the church because you never know when you need to destroy a church. Should probably, considering that this takes place in Libya, there should probably be a mosque. I mean, there are Christians in Libya, but still a predominantly a Muslim country. And, yep, yeah. I forgot that these just leave ruins behind. How very disappointing. Nice. Looks like we can just blow up the rest of the village here. That's nice. And we have some rocket guys. That's nice as well. Because those will take care of these buildings a little bit faster than our mini gunners here. And everybody just shoot those buildings. These buildings are very sturdy. I'm pretty sure if a building like this gets hit by five or six missiles from missile launcher, it doesn't last quite as long. But I won't complain. I mean, the damage model is now going to be quite realistic. And some missiles will probably be unwinnable if they were. So you just destroy that here. So they do leave ruins behind, which is more in line with later titles such as Red Alert 2, where you can't really move civilian buildings unless you have a Chrono Legionnaire. That guy can just make them disappear and you get some more build space. And here we go. Boom. Hmm. I guess I should have destroyed all the GI troops in the area. Oh well, I guess we didn't do that. Thanks for watching and see you next time.